Okay, so the Thanksgiving ratings, I I posted these right before we went on the air so I wouldn't have to look at it for an hour because I'm sure it's like all sorts of, uh, you know, goofy gifts. But uh, fact of the matter is the holiday weekend just made things weird for everybody. The Raw show on Monday did 1.68 million viewers and a 0. .43 in 18 to 49 uh, which are very weak, particularly in the demo. However, the show usually loses viewers as it goes on, but it grew in hour two, fell in hour three, and part of that was because, for whatever reason, nobody tuned in at the beginning of Raw this week. And this might have been holiday-related. Maybe people were, were traveling over the weekend, and they got back Monday and got home late. I don't know how this stuff works, but... They showed it 1.68 million and uh, 0.4, why does it say 0.45 here and it says 0.43 elsewhere? Uh, whatever. Anyway, that's what it did. So uh, the hours, 1.68 million first hour, which is very low, 1.76 million for the second hour, and then the usual fall down to 1.59 million in the third hour. So that was the story for Raw. The Thanksgiving Smackdown actually did, or the, the, the week of Thanksgiving, it was the day after. This one did a great number. 2.149 million viewers, up 4.1%. Highest viewership since October 29, 18 to 49.57, which was up 10% from the week prior. And uh, there you go. They only lost to How the Grinch Stole Christmas. The only show that beat them in 18 to 49. So SmackDown did great. Rampage did terrible. 431,000 viewers, down 22.5% from the previous week. Lowest viewership in the history of Rampage, 0 0.18 in 18 to 49. Second lowest demo, beat only the October 17 episode. Also had very strong sports competition. College football and college basketball, 2.7 and 2.8 million, respectively, on ESPN. Viewership down across all age groups. Not good for Rampage. It was still better than Poor Impact. Although I don't know if I can say Poor Impact, because they're the ones that chose to air Wrestle House on Thanksgiving night. The Thanksgiving edition of Impact, according to Brandon Thurston, did 48,000 viewers on Access Television. And that's not in a demo. That's the full viewership, 48,000 viewers. The rating in the 18 to 49 demo was an 0 0.01. They are the lowest ratings that Impact has done on Access TV in all of history, the show the prior week averaged 129,000 viewers and a .02 in 18 to 49. So those are your impact numbers. That's what Thanksgiving does, everybody. There's good and there's bad, although it was mostly bad except for SmackDown for whatever reason. Russell You're House. back. That what? I had, to, I had to mute you because of the drinking into the mic, but go ahead. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, we all watched it. It was on the video, but go ahead. Tell us about SmackDown viewership. So one thing that stuck out about the impact number was when you were speaking to Lance on Friday uh, about Russell House, you, you were worried about, I think it was Chris Saban that you were worried about, any women walking into the room and seeing this and being embarrassed if they would see whatever it was that Chris Saban was doing, being steamy Saban or whatever it was. If you look at the demo numbers, unfortunately, and look, it's a small sample size, which I think makes everything a lot more volatile, if I'm not mistaken. But there were under a thousand 
women, 18 to 34, <laughs> watching that show. So you didn't have to worry about embarrassing that set, at least. Nobody would have seen it. I, It was a surprise to see the number, and I guess that means it's under 1,000 because it comes up as a zero. So I'm sure there was one female somewhere in, in North America watching that show that was between the ages of 18 and 34. But I just, when you look at those numbers, and again, it was Thanksgiving, it was Russell House, it's Impact, Network, all all that sort of stuff. It was it was a cringeworthy number. Although, I mean, in their world, I'm not sure how seriously you can truly take those numbers. It's like MLW on BN. I mean, you just you're happy to have an outlet to do something, and you just try to cobble away the best you can. You know, last week we were reviewing the AEW show on Wrestling Observer Radio, and uh, you may remember this segment where I said. You know, Dave, they talked for 18 minutes. I don't think we need to go over all of it. And then he went over all of it. So anyway, uh, that video went up on YouTube. And uh, that 8-minute and 29-second video has uh, 54,000 views right now. So more people viewed that than viewed Wrestle House on Access Television on Thursday night. To put this all into perspective right here. Not a good number at all. But you know what? It was Thanksgiving, so... That's what happens. We have one more. Oh, we do? Yeah. This is from uh, TL. There's nothing scary about you, chap, no matter how dangerous of a technician. You look more like a male anesthetician, cocking your chest out with that definition. No, I don't mean Zack Sabre, supporter of labor. He's one of the best. I'm talking about that man with no heart, Brian Alvarez, the real chicken chest. I'm disgusted. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.